Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you viewers out there. Today we are going to talk about other physicals and health disabilities which is falls under the low incidence disabilities. Well, if you missed the earlier videos, be sure to click on the link up here to access them. And as usual, I am Dr. Hafiz and you are watching Dr. Hafiz Explains. All right, so let's look at another topic under low incidence disability, which is the other physicals and health disability. So before we delve deeper, why not I give you a soft introduction on what is actually the other physical and health disability. So children belong in this category are those who have physical and health problem that cause disruption to their education process and also their attendance to school. And normally students that are categorized under this category, they normally need a special classroom environment or, or a classroom environment that, ha that has been modified uh, with assistive technology and mobility and also therapeutic services. So in this other physical and health disability, there are two categories. The first would be the orthopedic disability and the second would be the other disabilities. So for orthopedic disability, it's about disabilities that are caused by congenital uh, abnormalities. And this is not limited to bodily abnormalities, but also disabilities or disruptions in terms of their nervous system. So for examples, uh, in, within this category, uh, we have this uh, club foot and limb disability and also cerebral palsy and for the other category the other disabilities this kind of disability will cause the child's strength to be either limited or amplified and example of that would be the ADHD the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder epileptic leukemia and Tourette syndrome and now let's look at what causes this uh, other physical and health disability there are four factors as uh, outlined by Zuri Ghani and Che Ahmad 2011 the first would be natural and this happened when the baby is still in the womb or probably occur at birth the second would be caused by diseases and this happened after an attack by a disease that caused loss of limb function or probably um, affected uh, the nervous system. So the third cause of this other physical and health disability would be after someone or somebody met with an accident and the accident caused loss of limb or probably affected the neural or brain function. And the fourth one would be the war. And as we know, war is a very terrible thing and it causes lives, not only lives, but war also inflict damage, uh, bodily damage, bodily harm to the victims. So war is na. -uh. So next we look at the traits of students with this kind of disability. The first one that we are going to explore is the cerebral palsy. So cerebral palsy is an impairment on voluntary movement and posture and this is caused by damage uh, on some part of the brain that in charge of the muscle movement. And because I am not a trained medical doctor, I can't really elaborate on that. So if you want to know more about cerebral palsy, I have prepared for you the link to a video that will explain in detail what is actually cerebral palsy. So click on the link on top there. So next, spina bifida. So this kind of uh, disability 
happened as a result of the failure of the backbone to form properly and this caused a bump to be formed on the backbone. So if you can see on the screen the illustration there, you will see it clearly, the bump. So if you want to know more about spina bifida, just click on the link and watch the video. And next would be the muscular dystrophy and this is caused by the lack or loss of protein, protein agent named dystrophin in the muscle, in our muscle. As you can see in the diagram that I've prepared for you, the green stuff is the protein named dystrophin. So on your left, you can see a lot of dystrophin there. That is how a normal tissue muscle is. On the right is when muscular dystrophy happen. So you can see the reduction of the green fluid. Thank you Captain Afiz for the awesome explanation on the other physical and health disabilities. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video just now. For the latest and greatest videos, be sure to like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As usual, I am Dr. Hafiz and you have watched one of the videos under Dr. Hafiz Explains. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.